Okay, hi everyone. I'm just going to give you guys the basic outline of how to write mostly a body paragraph other than a video talking about the thesis. Um, my video about the context got erased, so I might revisit that really quick. Okay, so remember, theses are supposed to have a two to one ratio, two similarities and one difference, or one difference and two similarities. Context, you guys want to write a five sentence paragraph where you guys compare them to something else that's going along in the same time period. In this case, I recommended Christianity. It'd be like, Christians are uh, spread along the Silk Road, same as the Muslims and not so much the Hindus. They are monotheistic, similar to Muslims, but not so much the Hindus. They do all kinds of things that are uh, similar but different. But the big deal I want to hit here was the body paragraph. And the reason I'm having you guys do this is because um, you got to do this three different times for three different your three different claims. Um, and so I'll um, kind of guide you through one. I don't even care if you use this as a guide. I write nothing on the board from here other than what you see. I need to explain what each one of these things. So this essentially, guys, is a formula on writing an essay and basically says you need to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sentences. It, it'll end up being more as you guys develop it. Now, they're not great in a structure. This just helps you to um, write the sentences, okay? So first thing you want are topic sentences. It needs to mention both cult cultures in the claim. So I'm gonna pick what's probably your last one and maybe the easiest for me to do here, which is simply the one that goes, hey, they are similar in that they both traded along major trade wet networks like the Indian Ocean Trade and the Silk Road. Now yours may look slightly different, but what I just said right there is good enough to write down as a topic sentence. It has both cultures and then some sort of claim about both societies. Okay, and then from there, um, you want to mention them, what they did individually and what they did, um, did simply. So I'll just start. CD1, I'm going to mention tech. Okay, I'm writing it there. Now, CD is a concrete detail. And uh, I don't even know that I need to write the word up there because it's really not that important. It's giving you guys the idea that you want a black word, a vocab word, or you want like where the fruit was from or where the products are from, where the stuff is from. Um, and then you want to be able to analyze it in the CM or commentary. Okay, um, This method of essay, I think, is kind of an old school method, but it's still, I think, effective here. So um, let's just go with the tech similarity question here. Um, both uh, Muslims and Hindus built tech, used tech to expand along trade routes. In India, they used the South, wait, no, in India, they used the Dow to trade along the Indian Ocean trade. And then in, and so now here, right in my um, CD2, I could probably mention the Dow, okay? Or sorry, in my analysis, I could put the Dow. Um, and over here, um, I could probably mention the saddle. Um, so right here in my claim or my sentence, I'm talking about the, the tech and I'll say the word here similarly. So here, let me actually describe that out to you guys. So here I'm trying to quote what I would put in a text. Both, uh, both Hindus and Muslims used technology to advance or wrong trade networks. Similarly, the Hindus used the Dow to trade along the Indian Ocean trade, um, just like um, the saddle was used along the Silk Road for the Muslims. So notice I'm using what I'm calling compare language here, compare and contrast language. And so whenever you're doing these CMs, you want to have like, in this case, it's a compare, so it's similar, um, similar, just like, same as, okay? Now, if it was a contrast one, like if you did their political systems, um, it would be on the one hand, on the other hand. Put on the one hand there. Okay. And then, um, um, or unlike. And so you want to use those words to show that you're going to get a contrast. And then on your, your um, if you guys remember your rubric, this is what's getting the historical analysis point. And we got it there. That historical analysis point is going, you're showing that you can compare and contrast two societies. Okay. So I'm going to move on from CDCM1, which I think I got a basic two to CDCM2. 
I'm going to say religion, okay? Along the Silk Road, um, both spread their religions. Or sorry, along trade routes, both spread their religions. Both Indians and Hindus, sorry, Indians and Hindus, Hindus and Muslims spread the religion. And then uh, um, you'll talk about Muslim merchants going out uh, and spreading their religion along the Silk Road uh, using those major trade routes. And then and they went from, you talk about locations, they went from the Baghdad into um, uh, some of those North African countries, if you guys wanted to do that, or, you, or um, I'm going Baghdad into Persia, Isfahan, um, or they went into Aden, or is another location that got traded into. And then it's going to be from there, uh, you're going to go with religion in India, it went from India, or sorry, Hindus, to um, uh, Funan, if you remember in Southeast Asia, that traded along the trade routes. Okay? Then you're going to have, similarly, it went to Funan. Similarly, it went to Bukhara in the Silk Road. Again, don't, that's not a direct quote, but that gives you an idea. Then finally, along the Silk Road and technology, they both benefited economically. So now I have like a little econ section here where I talk about on the Dows, they would trade for China from China. And from on the Silk Road, they trade for silk from China. You could do either one. Um, and it gets kind of the idea that's going on there. Now, we took all that information and wrote it into an eight paragraph sentence. Notice how I used a lot of concrete details and facts. Use your contrastive language. You're going to get the points. Does that make sense? Now, uh, I'll leave it there because now you guys need to try to do that uh, for your two other statements that are in your thesis. All right, we'll see you in class.